All right. Here we are. We're back. And it's Porta Nova time now. All right. So. Vulture. Don't need to spam. Uh, senpai, I'll take on anything for your acknowledgement. <laughs> Don't need to take on anything. Back again. Now, the Portanova I have never... The Alto I have built before. Just the regular Alto. The Portanova I have not built. So I didn't bother building the regular one. I didn't like it at all. Uh, I didn't like that it looked like a cheap imitation Zaku. This version, much better looking though. Hopefully no issues with the face this time around. But let's get right down to business, shall we? So we got the part here for just making the regular Ports Nova face. And yeah, this new one, I guess like in a way, the new face part is even more like Zaku ripoff because it's even got like the pipes out the side of the face, but eh, it's all right. Uh, oh, but actually, hang on. If we're going to use that one, we have to plug that part on first. So with the flight type, with Alto flight type, you uh, put a clear part behind of there, but with this you have to plug the clear part into the front of here. It's a little bit different. There you go. Hopefully that's very secure in there. Uh, do you know when US Agano Store will get the RG Ava? I don't know. I'm not sure. And Evan, yes, it was Mike Jones' phone number. Uh, what do we have to do to get you to do a parody of that? You want me to do like a, a parody Mike Jones song? I don't know. I can't rap, so, I mean, I don't know. Uh, let's see, I have a gold-plated piece from the old 144 gold frame Amatsu that snapped. Is there anything you could recommend to reattach it? Uh, that's a gold-plated piece that's broken? Ooh. Gold-plated, I mean, you could just glue it, but there's not much you can do. The plating is going to be kind of ruined. At least you'll, the crack will be noticeable there anyway. It's not going to be a whole lot that you can do to fix that. See me out. Just, I mean, if you're really worried about it, unfortunately, the only real option I think is just to repaint it. But if you don't want to repaint it, then you just glue it, and it's gonna have to be enough, I guess. So far, I mean, the head was just like two pieces go together, but the chest as well also seems pretty much identical in the way that it's constructed to the Alto. The torso, I mean. Torso, chest, whatever. And this one doesn't have any optional or a different part for the chest, I don't think, right? So, Sergeant Derp guy. Konichi was up. No, you got it wrong. You have to do it. Uh, it was that. Riza? Who was that that said it in the uh, Chappelle show? Uh, it was Riza? I think it was Riza, right? Konichiwa, bitches. Remember that? Pretty classic Chappelle show. Uh, are these made to be easily customizable? Yes, Fatty, these are made, that's like the, the sole intention of these kits is to be very highly customizable. That's why they released so many damn versions and different option 
part sets and everything for them. Uh, all the different color versions and stuff is to make them so that you can customize them, like, customize the color scheme of them without having to paint anything even. It's so, like if you wanted to have a black or a torso and white limbs, for example, you just buy the two kits and you can mix and match. The Roy is also different for this uh, compared to the Alta, of course. Interesting. Let's see, if you wanted to use the Roy for the head. <laughs> it's pretty cool looking actually. To use that. This the Roy of this kit makes for a pretty interesting head. I don't know. Definitely interesting. Uh, what is a good way to uh, weather underwater mobile suits? Mm. Yes, that is the question. Weathering underwater mobile suits. Uh, well, best bet, I would say, look at some examples of some, like, model kits of submarines which I've not really honestly done a lot of I've never really been interested in the in the subject so I can't say I've ever looked into it personally but if I were to want to know about like how to weather something underwater I would just look at some like real world examples Greg says slime and barnacles Michael says salt and hairspray rust uh, copper and brass patina. Some guys are saying, yeah, take a look at uh, yeah. Pictures of uh, boats and with the uh, hull visible, of course. Uh, and also submarine model kits, see what people do. For that. The oxidation effect would be cool. Yes. So, there you go. Uh, eh -eh. It's upside down. Figure eyes standard one piece kits. Uh, I've never. Do they make figure eyes standard one piece kits? I actually don't even know. Do they? Do they? Don't they? I don't know. I don't think they do, right? Anyway, even if they did, I wouldn't really think I'd be interested in. Uh, also, the Asuna kit review. I don't plan on reviewing the Asuna kit either. Sorry to say. I didn't really think that the kit really looked good. So. I was going to say it's a shame, but I mean, even if the kit did look good, I'm not really that big of a fan of the character design, so... I don't know how interested I would have been anyway, but if the kit looked better, I may have been a little bit more interested in getting it, but it didn't really look very good. It looked uh, just kind of very static. I like the little bit kind of bulkier arms on the Portanova. It's kind of got a little bit bulkier look to it. Uh, Zach, did you get any funny looks from your wife with that kit from yesterday? Uh, no. I didn't. Uh, later on, though, like, in the evening, I told her about what happened with the stream. And she was just, like, uh, generally shocked. Like, as my reaction, I was like, what the hell? But that's pretty much it. Uh, Milky Shame, hiya, hello. Uh, Mecha Otaku uh, asking about my Marita Cruz body pillow. I don't have one. Uh, but if someone gave it, gave me one for free, I would t 
take it. I don't think I would ever buy one. Uh, lighter not said, when are you dyeing your hair, Zach? Like, it's already dyed. Can you not tell? It's already starting, like, the color is starting to fade, or, like, change a little bit, actually. It's not very purple. But, yeah, even from the start, it was not that purple. Uh, it was not really... I mean, I, I wanted it to be even more purple. But that's just kind of how it turned out. So, I don't know. Next time, next time we'll go more bright purple. I'll make sure it's very bright. A uh, quick question, does P-Bandai charge right away for pre-orders? If you're talking about pre uh, P-Bandai America, I don't know about that. I haven't looked into exactly how the system works there. But at least for P-Bandai here in Korea, I can tell you that when you order stuff here on P-Bandai Korea, you do pay right away. Yes. You pay at the time when you pre-order it. So it's likely that that's how it works for America as well, but uh, I couldn't say for sure. I'm sure it's all explained on the Bluefin P-Bandai website though. Uh, are you planning on getting the P Bandai HD Vargill? Uh, Dewberry, yes, I am. I do have the HD Vargill pre ordered, but I've been contemplating canceling the pre order, actually. Because. I don't know. Essentially, just a purple moon Gundam with a different head and backpack, and I don't even really like the backpack design on it, really. And even the head is just kind of okay. Noticed a sneaky little nub here that I missed. Missed out on the Slash Zaku Phantom? Well, speaking of that, here it is. The Slash Zaku Phantom just arrived uh, yesterday? Two, what day is it today? Today's Tuesday. So I think it arrived on Saturday, actually. Saturday. Or Friday. Anyway, a few days ago. That, and also the Doug Schneid Ifrit HG kit, which I'm also pretty excited for. The HG Ifrit is such a good kit. Gasp. Exactly. So I'm not going to look at the instructions for this because I can assume it's exactly like the Alto. So I probably don't need to refer to the instructions. So that goes there, and dun 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 dun, that one there. This little oops ball joint here. Uh, where is the Marcosius review? The Marcosius review will be coming a little bit later. Uh, because that'll be, uh, as I think I mentioned during the live stream of the Marcosius, uh, that's going to be a little bit different because I'm doing that where I'm like, uh, building up the full kit and everything and also doing like the customization and painting of the kit all kind of all in one video. So it'll be a little bit once that kit is actually built and everything. I mean like built to completion after it's all painted and all that. Now should be another poly cap in there. Did it go away somewhere.
I think I may be short polycaps, and I already threw the polycap runner away, I'm sure, but if I did, if I need, I'm, I'm sure I have extra ball joint polycaps. Plenty, so I'm not too worried about it, but we'll find out here shortly. There's the regular leg. <coughs> it's a full moon, full moon in Mississippi. I can see it from my quarantine. There you go. Uh, will you be live streaming the slash phantom build? Yes, I do plan to. Um, hopefully, maybe late late next week. Uh, Zach, do you think these kits will rival Frame Arms kits? Um, yes and no in a way. I mean, they're similar, but they're different. Uh, the Frame Arms kits, you have a lot of variety between them. For example, like the Gorai and the Baihu are such different designs. And something like the Ray Falk and something like that. They're wildly different designs. Uh, whereas these kits are all like relatively similar in their design, so uh, in that way, I think they're they're a little bit different. Oh man, what was I doing? I must have been like really sleepy when I was cleaning up the nubs on this kit because there's a bunch of the nubs that I missed. It looks like well, a couple anyway. Uh, just this same nub on both the feet parts that I missed on both the left and the right one. There you go. Anyway. Uh, uh, let's see. Is he going to build it and this stream? Alex H, what are you talking about? Am I going to build the Zaku slash Phantom today? No way. It's not close to being ready yet. Uh... Michael Carmine asks, are God Hands really worth the money? I don't think so. Some people might say yes. Um, I don't... I wouldn't think so. I would say use your money for something else. You can use, like, something incredibly cheaper, but if you don't... I mean, if you don't mind spending a little bit of money for nippers, there's other options that you can get that are still really nice, but they're not quite as expensive as God Hands. So there we go. There's the main body. All done. So yeah, it took uh, 20 minutes, less than 20 minutes. Let's build that up now. Uh, build the option legs or the backpack first. Let's just, just for fun, build up the backpack first. Uh, yes, the USA Gundam store nippers are good. I think. I mean, there could be a little bias there, but I mean, objectively, there are some good nippers, so. Uh, hello, Mike from Shoreline, Washington.
Mike, I, I like that you announce uh, where you're from every time when you enter the stream. It's just it's just interesting to know where people are watching from. So if anyone else wants to follow Mike's lead and chime in where you're watching from, I just find it interesting. Uh, let's see. I love the space type legs, yeah. Uh, Damien, when are you going to build your Mechanicor kit? Well, which one? <laughs> I have a few, and I have no idea. Let's see, Kinch is also watching from South Korea. Uh, Virginia, Maine, Virginia. Kinch, if you don't mind me asking, what do you do in South Korea? Are you... You're likely either in the military or you're a teacher. So tell us, which one is it? Jeff from Florida, Sri Lanka, North Carolina, California, Colombia, uh, Chile, Nebraska, Brazil, uh, Kinch military. All right, cool. Uh, Kinch, are you in Seoul or? Oh, I don't know if you are supposed to say where you're stationed, but if you can. Oh, these are leg parts. Oh, I separated the parts kind of strangely, it looks like. Didn't I? Or did I? I did, for some reason. It looks like put the leg parts here with the backpack. So, anyway, let's just put the backpack on while we're here and also put the leg parts. Uh, let's see. But yeah, Kinch, if you if you can say, if you want to say, I'm just interested, just curious, which part of Korea where you're at. Being a fellow Korean inhabitant myself. Let's see. No, what the... What the hell did I do with these parts? I put them together very strangely. Uh, like here's the second time being here and I'll be here for another few years. You're in Osan. Ah, oh, okay, cool. Uh... Yeah, no, you don't need to give an address, but whatever, anyway. I s seem to have put some of these parts like kind of in the wrong place or something. Let me see. Instruction manual is just kind of goofy because it has you build like the option parts separately from like where you actually build them in here, so I don't know. Anyway, I'm just gonna do it like this. There we go. 
This is having that problem with the torso where this ball joint is popping out inside the torso there and it's kind of hard to get it back. The, like the gym, like the HGC gym ground type and uh, ground Gundam have the same kind of problem and other different variants of that kit. And it's kind of annoying. Rampager said, Morning, Zaku, watching from Singapore while I work from home. Skip the flight and space and gun for the ground and marine versions. Yes, the ground type and the marine versions are certainly seem to be definitely a couple of the coolest in the line so far. But these ones are pretty cool as well, I think. The flight type and space type, I mean, here. that. Now, it's got the long legs on there now and these other parts I've got over here. Hey. Okay. This part goes on here, like that, and then this part attaches onto there. Oh, that's upside down. That goes like that, and then this part attaches onto the front of there. That can't be right, it doesn't really seem to fit. Where does this part go? Ah. If you choose the normal legs, this part attaches onto the front of the knee. Like that, okay. Okay. Otherwise that just goes like that. I guess, okay. Yes, I'm very confused. Let's just move on. I think it will make sense after it's more put together. Can you show us how well it stands when you're finished? Yes, sure. I'm sure it stands just fine, even though it has the goofy legs. I'm sure it doesn't have any problems standing. These parts, that's kind of all for the legs. They're just meant to be like that. Okay. Uh, so how do you build, aha. Uh -huh. These. The regular legs, you'll build them, so it's a little bit different from the Alto, where you just kind of choose between the leg options. This one, even if you, uh, you'll use the original leg parts on the backpack. Uh-huh. So those actually get reused, which is cool. You don't have them just like as leftover parts. And had that on there backwards. Let's try that again. That's kind of cool. Uh, Ian, how's it going there? Ian, did you change your handle from Jagan? Or was it accidental? 
I feel like with much modification, this kit would look great in Mac K styling. The legs remind me of the Grober Hunt. Uh, yeah, I mean, yes, in a way, I think the rest of the detail, like a lot of the detail doesn't really match typical kind of Mac K style. You would need some of the kind of larger, big round kind of armor panels typical to Machine and Krieger, but yes, I can see what you mean with the modification and all that. Could work. Now, as for this part, and these parts are all just kind of extra bits that you can use for like just whatever, I guess. So, let's look at the example. Well, this part goes on the front of the crotch here. Like that, and these, I guess you could use these like on the side skirts. Let's attach them to the front of the chest. Well, that's also kind of not going to work. The sides of the arms. Like that. Seems like these are kind of like, getting to be Death Stranding style is just these uh, bits attached to the arms there that are only there to be able to attach more stuff onto the arms. But let's, well, it doesn't really fit onto there. Let's just attach this onto the sides of the backpack for now. And let's see. These big parts, can they be attached anywhere? Oh, they can be attached onto the side of the arm here, back of the arm. Going into some massive bulk on the, around the arms there like that. So you've got some options. Let's see. Hmm. Yes, anyway, well, we'll do some experiments with that. In the meantime, let's finish up the construction of this then, shall we? We got the weapons here then yet to build. So we got the long gun. The arm unit rifle, as it's called. Um, this one I'll attach onto here. And this one onto here. And this one and this one together here. Then that one will attach into there and this one onto the front of here for a very long rifle. That's pretty cool. And we have a connection piece, which is these two put together. Like that. I'll attach onto the top of there. And we can use this connection piece to attach this onto the center of the backpack here which will just allow you to have that there on the backpack I guess. Oops, what's going on with that? There we go. Not the strongest connector there. Between the segments of the gun, the gun, like the three main segments of the gun there don't seem like it's very good connection. We'll definitely have to glue those parts so that that's more solid there for that. Then for the claw bit here. Uh, what will you do for your next big custom work? Oh, the next big custom work. Uh, I'm not sure exactly. Yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, 
that. Pretty simple here for the claw, but uh, it does look pretty cool. Oh, there are uh, different pieces for that. I was not paying attention. Uh, let's see. I think I put on the wrong ones. Which one's which? Which one goes where? Um, I think these are switched. That one's supposed to be like that, it seems like. That one's supposed to be like that. Anyway, so there you go. There's your option hand. Option claw hand. Very simple in its construction, but very effective. I think, I mean, it just... It's all it is there, but it works really well. So, there you go. Uh, just announced uh, G Gundam Death Army HG Death Beast. Oh, really? I hadn't seen that announcement. Let me have a look here. Where where was this announced? Uh, what was your first plamo kit ever and when? Uh, Jerry, yes, that has been asked a lot. Mm. My first Gundam kit, as far as I can remember, it was the HG 100 scale Shenlong kit. Where is this Death Army announcement? Has anyone here built... Uh, Jeff, and to answer your question about the Marcosius, yeah, I could recommend it for a beginner. Any of the HGR and Blue Orphans line is perfectly fine for a beginner, yeah. So yeah, the stickers for this kit are a little bit different in their font, so we'll put on a couple of stickers here in a minute. Uh, I'm just looking for this. Where was this Death Army announcement? I checked Tag Hobbies and didn't see it there. Cause, oh yeah, here it is. Okay. On the Bendai Spirits Twitter, I can see it, yeah. I came to Twitter to look for that. Uh, I'm glad that it comes with, the, with that uh, different rifle. That's cool. Hmm. Alright, cool. Well, yeah. Expected. So I'm glad they're putting that out instead of waiting years to put it out. So... Hmm. Yeah, looks good. Looks good. That's cool. I'm glad they're coming out with that. Uh, and Jerry... Gary? Uh, can you plug the Alta flight pack into the Porta kit? Yes, you can. You can switch the backpacks. It's easy enough. Uh... I'll buy the USA Gundam Nippers and the Marcosius with your code. Thank you. Good. Yeah, you'll be pleased. You'll like the Marcosius kit. It was, it was, it's pretty cool actually. There's a cool picture that shows the Death Beasts posing with the Master Gundam. Oh, I didn't see that one. Small dream. I'll, I'll look around for some more pictures, but that's pretty cool. Uh, all right. Stickers. Yeah, first of all, the problem is where can we put any stickers on this? Right on the front of the chest? Aha. Yes, right on the front of the chest seems like a good option. And with this being the space type and all, I've got an idea. Just take off a couple of these parts here. And also, I think maybe just take off the backpack for the moment. Oh, the 
problem is I once again don't have enough zeros to do the number that I wanted to do. Shoot. Um, Alright, well. Shit. I was gonna do 9000 as like a HAL 9000 reference. Since it's the space type. But we only have two zeros in uh, the medium and small font. A large font, we only have one zero. Uh, 2001, yeah. That's a good option. Alright. If we can't do 9000, we can do 2001. That makes sense. Good call. I'm going to try to fit this on the center of the chest, though, but I think it's going to be a pretty tight fit. So maybe what would be better it would be to lay the zeros in the center first so that I know it's centered. one that could have also worked I suppose yes Zero, zero, 0005. I already did that one, El Fan de Gumpla. I did the 8005 on a different kit before. On the HG ground type, I think, wasn't it? Yeah, it's just gonna barely fit on here, looks like. I should have put it a little bit off center. Because the number is not completely symmetrical, but. Okay, anyway. Anyway, there we go. Yeah, it's not uh, not the straightest, but it does the job. That's it for the Portanova. So yeah, I'll try to do the next. Uh, there won't be any live stream tomorrow. Uh, uh, limit to answer your question: Do I pre-trim the parts before the live stream? Yes, I cut out all the parts and take off all the nubs and everything. Yes, before the live stream. Yes. Uh, so. Yeah, the next live stream probably will be Thursday, uh, two days from now. Or if you're in the U.S., that'll be uh, that'll be Wednesday evening. Here you go. Yes, the kit stands just fine. I mean, it's a little bit wobbly, but I've just adjust it and it's good enough. But hang on. Uh, but yeah, so Thursday we'll build the ground type and marine type kits. Does that sound good to everybody? 
And as for the reviews, the reviews will come out uh, over time. I want to review the... I uh, still have to review the HD Origin Gundam kit as well, so... Uh, also, the Master Grade Riga Z kit, which we built up last week. also need to record the review for that as well, so... so other reviews to do, but... Uh, we'll try to get that stuff out for you guys as soon as possible, but I also have the Barbatos is all done, the Master Grade Barbatos is all finished and uh, a couple other works things other th things that i'm working on like painted builds that i'm working on as well uh the blue snap is asking about the figure of the girl in the yellow shirt that's up there that's a just a resin conversion kit not a conversion kit a resin uh garage kit yes uh so anyway there you go oh so uh, Thursday, two days from now, we'll build uh, two more of these kits, and so there's a bunch, and then including all the option parts, sets, and stuff as well as uh, reviews for all that stuff we'll be working on. So, all right, uh, that's gonna be it for today, guys. Thanks for hanging out again. Those of you guys who watched from the beginning, sorry about the technical issues at the start of the stream, but uh, seems like everything's working fine now, so that's good. Uh, and I'll see you guys with reviews and stuff between now and then but uh next time i see you live will be two days from now so until then guys goodbye wash your hands stay safe stay at home if you are watching from the part of the world where you should stay home which is most of the world at this point but i uh, have a good day guys goodbye